Hi guys, it's Clyde here, and uh, I'm coming to you live from the Leechburg Lights workshop in the back of the house here. Uh, I've got the uh, the shop computer uh, set up and ready to go for uh, testing my RGBs, and I wanted to do um, a couple part video. I want to say it's going to be a four part video, but it may expand to be more, maybe less, but we'll find out. But uh, I want to do a four part video on exactly how to go from installing Lightarama to setting up for E131 in order to run a uh, pixel or RGB light show. Now this laptop is nothing special. It's, um, it's actually, uh, I bought this, I think I paid 200 bucks for this laptop. It has Windows 7 on it. Um, and I think it only has uh, three gigs of RAM, no, two gigs of RAM. Um, it has a dual core 2.5 gigahertz processor, which is strong enough to probably run uh, a light pixel show. Uh, definitely can run a little bit of uh, the dumb RGBs, but uh, I don't think it's going to be big enough to do my entire show. I have another show computer for this. But in any event, what I want to start off with first in this video, and what primarily this video is about, is setting up for E131. Now, uh, the first step I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to Start, and then I'm going to go to Control Panel, and then I'm going to go to Network and Internet. Once I click on this, we're going to go to Network and Sharing. Which is here. And then we're going to come over here and change adapter settings. We want to look for our local area network connection, which right now there is nothing plugged into it or connected to it. And we have another uh, adapter. We have a wireless adapter, which is the notebook's wireless card. We're going to select, double click on the local network. And we're going to go to TCP IP version 4. Now, if you have Windows, uh, as far as I've seen, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, these uh, TCP IP version 4 is on there. Sometimes Windows XP does not have version 4. You might have to do an update or you might have to install it by clicking install and selecting a protocol and clicking add. But we don't need to do that. So uh, whenever you get to this point and you can't find version 4 TCP IP, then... Um, then you probably, if you're running Windows uh, XP, then, then you just need to uh, go through the steps for that. I'm not going to cover that in this. But right now you want to make sure it's checked that you have the check mark on Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP. And we're going to go to Properties. Now, typically, um, uh, and I'm not a network guru, and I don't understand half the things that people that do network networking and, and so forth uh, understand and I'm not going to claim to be an expert, but what I will say is that there's three basic things that you have to have on this screen. Number one, you have to have both use the following IP addresses and use the following DNS server addresses. Now I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go grab my LOR or my uh, E682 and I'm going to show you something really quick. Okay, this is the E682. This is my new one that I just uh, built this year, um, probably the fourth one I've soldered together, maybe it's the third one, I can't remember which, um, but I've, I've already tested this one, this one works and everything's okay, um, but what I want to point out is that I have given this E682 a specific IP address. Now we're working on calculating our IP addresses for our network. What we have to do is we have to assign our computer our computer has to be told that it has a specific IP address. So we're going to physically assign it. When we bring in our E682, it's important that we follow the same rules with the IP address so that our home network can communicate with our E682 network. This is how we open up the bridge, or uh, bridge is a bad word, this is how we open up the protocol for E131 so that we can talk to this guy using this guy. And the only way, and this is the key to getting 
your system set up is by beginning with an IP address. Now, an IP address, I, from my, what I understand, could be anything. But typically, when the IP, uh, whenever the E682 and the, e, the E6804 come out, this is automatically set, I think, to 192.168.1.207. And I just kept the first group of numbers, or the first three, the same. And I changed the last one from 207 to 60. I have, uh, this will be five E682s, I'm pretty sure. And I will have three, um, three of the E6804s. I also have two DMX bridges uh, from uh, two, yeah, two DMX uh, E131 bridges from DIY LED Express, and uh, those also require a IP address as well. And I'll show you, I'll show you my DIY LED Express bridge. There's one of them. And, uh, oh, well, there we go. It's in a case. So, so you have to have a network set up in order to get your computer to talk to your devices via E131. And what it begins with is it begins right there with these first three sets of numbers. The first two are the most important because this signifies your network specifically. Uh, if the first two sets of numbers are, are not the same, on this device, this computer most likely won't talk to it as easily. You might not get the correct uh, connection that you need. So once again, I'm not an expert, but I just used what was already there. I used the 192168, and then I left the one here. And the last one is the one I changed for everything. Whenever you enter this IP address, you're going to then enter, as soon as you click down here to the sub mask, subnet mask, 255.255.255.0 is going to show up automatically. So you won't have to type that in. You do not need a default gateway. And you, do, you come down here and you make sure that you click use the following DNS server address. Now, I don't know if this is 100% accurate either, but it worked for me. And I put 192.168.1.3, which is exactly the same IP address as I have above. Once this step is complete, then this is just the beginning. This is the key to getting your entire network to be able to connect with your laptop or desktop computer. We're going to click OK. We're going to click Close. Now, typically, any time that you have a change in a network setting, the computer is going to prompt you to restart itself. In this case, I've already made these changes um, that I don't need to make those changes. I already made those changes. I don't need to restart my computer. So that there is part one of the video that uh, is, and once again, this is the key. This is whenever I couldn't get things to work, this is where it starts. So I just, I can't stress this enough. I made this mistake. I screwed up stupid little things. And this is one of the, one of the little things that you want to start with before you go any further. So that'll be the end of part one video.